Welcome back to Let's Get Healing With Me, day 16. Today is your environment matters. What does this mean? Let me explain. Location as energy. What this means is that our brains make associations with the location of whatever activity that we're doing at the time, right? Because we're actually creatures of habit. You go to bed on the same side of the bed, don't you? And you usually eat maybe watching TV on your couch. I'm guilty of this sometimes. It's important to switch it up. Why? Because your subconscious remembers where you eat, where you sleep, or even when you take a shit. All right? So if you're constantly in bed eating or watching TV, you're either going to struggle to fall asleep or you might wake up having cravings in the middle of the night and not really know why. Have you ever noticed how you struggle to concentrate, to focus if you're studying in the same room that you're watching TV with the TV facing you, even if it's like shut off? Or if you're feeling snacky or cravings when you like start to work at the dinner table or read a book at the dinner table. Mindfulness on this topic is important because when you realize we of course have a lot of activities that we don't even want to do in environment that aren't very much ideal and that creates frustration, maybe impatience, maybe even anger or boredom. When you switch up the environment by realizing what conditions work for you and create a space maybe that works for you, there's no one size fits all once again, you are able to improve your mood and your productivity. So what works for you? Do you prefer busy environments or do you prefer solitude? Do you like to read or maybe study in like a cozy cafe corner by yourself? Or do you prefer spacious libraries where maybe you can like ask people for support or go in groups? And do you like to brainstorm ideas with people or do you prefer to do your own thing and ask for feedback once you've completed a task? All of those things will create the conditions for your space. Okay, so simple exercise, try devoting a clear purpose to your personal spaces, a single clear purpose to your personal spaces. That will incredibly improve your life. So for example, there is a place where you eat. There is, There can be many places. For example, you like to eat in the sun sometimes and you like to eat at the dinner table sometimes, that's fine. There is a place where you have distractions like being on your phone, on TV, and another one where you study. There's the one that we can retreat to, to feel safe, and another one where you connect with your partner. You want to make sure that those places have a different purpose in your head so that they all work in harmony in your body and you don't feel like doing something else where in a certain or different location. Hope this made sense and I'll talk to you tomorrow.